the dining room and I started looking about you know looking about trying to figure out what we were going where we were going to start and then I saw your artwork and somebody said oh she's a resident here and I said well we absolutely need to use her artwork we need to get her involved and I want to hear her story so I look around your room and I see all this beautiful art how long have you been painting I have been painting for um, 20 years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I didn't learn to paint until after my spinal cord injury mm -hmm. and I really have enjoyed it. I, I just love it. So which pieces are you willing to part with <laughs> for the dining room? Because when I look around and I think about my space, I wouldn't be so, I'd be a little bit more selfish than you are. <laughs> oh, um, um, this one that, um, that you like. I love that piece. I, I do too. The colors in that piece are really fantastic. The orange. The and green. The, and the orange. Yeah, the orange just pops off that off that canvas. I really love it. Well, um, I'd love to, to use that piece. Um, okay. And I hope you can part with it for the dining room. I'm that sure would everybody be great. would love, I would love, love to, to um, see it. And I would love to. One of my favorite things to do when I come to a new city is to go antiquing. So I'm here at Vintage Rabbit in Spokane, and I thought maybe I could find some containers here for our arrangements for the dining room. And my thought is we can take a collection, spray them out in a similar color, and then do the arrangements, and maybe while they're sitting there at lunch or dinner, maybe one of these will bring back a memory or two. So I'm going to take these back to Good Samaritan and get started. Hancock Fabrics looking for material for both my curtain panels, my linens, and then there's a partition that I want to put some fabric on where, you know, residents can put notes, maybe we can put some of Deanne's art there, and I'm looking for some things that maybe are a little bit more traditional to fit in with the theme of the design, but of course I tend to lean towards that contemporary. So this fabric actually caught my eye right away because I love how contemporary with the cream and the white and it's got this really contemporary graphic print. It may be a little too contemporary for this project, so we're going to find something that is a little less contemporary, a little bit more traditional. This fabric is a little bit more traditional. It's got a flocked brocade on it, which makes it feel a little bit more updated and contemporary. But I still am not really happy. So then I came across this fabric. Now, it's got a bolder print, which makes it more contemporary, and you still have that flocked print on top. So I think this is the perfect thing for my partition that's gonna separate the dining room from the kitchen. Now all I have to find is that just classic black fabric to add to the bottom of those drapes and to my linens, and then we're ready to go. Let me go find that now. Madison Home, which is a gorgeous home store here in Spokane, and I'm looking for the artificial flowers for the arrangements that I want to do for the dining room. I'm going to meet Sam Lay and want to talk to you a little bit about your beautiful store. First of all, it's gorgeous. Thank you. And I've been around Spokane for a couple of days. I've been looking for a store just like yours. You have beautiful furnishings, and I'm just seeing a little peek of your artificial flowers, and I can't wait to get my hands on them. So tell me a little bit about you and how you came to Spokane. I came to Spokane in 1987 to start my business. We started out as silk flowers, but we gradually branched into furniture, as you can see. I know, I may have to take a chair or two home with me. Please do. Please <laughs> but, do. But first, we'll focus on the silk arrangements. Okay. Now, I know there's a little kind of a secret that you have a book out that is going to be some very big deal soon. So, you want to talk a little bit about uh -oh, your book? Oh, my book. Is it's about our journey from Vietnam to America. Mm -hmm. From Cameron Bay to the Philippines, okay. crossing the South China Sea. Well, you're a strong man, and you are truly the epitome of the Amer living the American dream. All yeah, right, well, you want to take me to the um, artificial flower so I can start? Sure. To I got to get to work. I'd be happy to. Okay, great. Okay. We're going that way. Yeah, thank you. 
I am so drawn to this color palette. It reminds me of a spring garden. And as I was talking to Jerry yesterday, she talked about that yellow yarn she had been working with. So I'm thinking that might be a good color to incorporate. And Deanne, she had that bright orange that popped out of the painting. These are actually the perfect flower because they have a little bit of orange in the center. Then we've got the yellow on the outside. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna collect these, we're gonna take them back to Good Samaritan, and we're gonna make these contemporary pave arrangements that are gonna be on each dining room table. So I have a lot of picking to do, and I better get to work. <laughs> 